If you want to win the SEO game, the easiest way to do so is to model what's already working. That means looking at your competition, figuring out how they're writing their posts, how they're optimizing it for on-page SEO and modeling your SEO strategies exactly like that. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're writing a blog post about best backup plugins for WordPress. You would go to WP Beginner because it's the biggest resource on the internet for WordPress education. And you would try to find out how they have written this piece of content. So coming to the page, you'll observe that they have a nice big headline here. You'll note the headline type. They use the listicle type article, how long the headline is, what number of characters. You'll also look at the page title, the page description, the meta title, meta description, and also social sharing icons here. You'll also observe the images that they've used, what kind of uh, article they've written, that means what kind of headline this is, the products that they've mentioned, and also looking at the entire structure of the page, also figuring out some metadata on the website as well which means the schema that they've used, any kind of open graph tags that they've used, and any kind of tags, that means canonical, and if the page is being indexed, and also the kind of meta robots tags, that means if the page is indexed or not indexed, all that data. And you can just take that and model it on your site, and hopefully, once you optimize your article based on this, you'll also start seeing improvements in your search rankings. The only problem with this approach is that it takes a long, long time. And I'm here to fix that in this video. What if this was actually very, very easy for you to do? Let's explore a new method to do this. So instead of doing all this manual labor, I'm going to give you the easiest method to find all this information about any web page in a structured manner. And we do this by first going to Google and searching for a brand new Chrome extension, which is called AIO SEO Analyzer. So go to your Google search and type in AIO SEO Analyzer Chrome extension. And probably the first result you'll see is something like this from chrome.google.com will be the AIO SEO Analyzer. So let's click on it and it'll reach or it'll take us to the Chrome extension page. Just make sure that it's by AIOSEO.com. That's the authentic version. You'll see the AIO SEO logo here and it's completely free. It's a brand new plugin. That's why you don't see too many reviews here, but it's a fantastic plugin. There's no sign up required. There's no premium version. There's nothing to pay for. And there's no, I say, personal information being connected. So let's connect or add this to our Chrome first by clicking this button right here. Let's do add extension. And in just a second, you'll see that AIO SEO analyzer has been added to Chrome. Let's close this window now. And going back here, I'll first refresh the page. And now the extension is active. I'll also make sure to add the extension in my Chrome extension bar. So I'll go here and click the extension button and make sure the AIOSO analyzer has been pinned here. If you don't see it, just make sure that it is pinned so that you can see this. Now, all I'll do to analyze this page is just click the AIOSO button. So I'll just go here and click it. And boom, this is the information you'll start seeing. So I'll give you a quick overview of all the information you're seeing. It analyzes the headline on the page, gives it a rating so that you can make sure that your rating or your headline is better. It gives you what the title is, how long the title is. It also gives you the description of the page and also a rating for that. So you can make sure that your rating is higher. That means a better headline or better description for you. It'll give you the actual description, also how many characters. It'll give you the URL of the page, the canonical URL, so that this page is doesn't have any other canonical, canonical URL. That means it's pointing to itself, but it does have a canonical, canonical URL. Also, the meta keywords, the robot text snippets, X robots tags, language used, the amount of word counts, that means how long the page is, what's the total number of characters that have been are on the page, and how many headings are being used. You can also check out the websites robot.txt and the entire sitemap right here. Fantastic information, but we're just getting started. If you scroll to the top, you'll see all these headings here, which are a gold mine of information when it comes to SEO. Let's go to the headings first. So if I click the headings, you'll see the amount of headings this page has. So it has one H1, two H2s, two H3s, nine H4s and no H5s and H6s. Now, if you scroll here, you'll see the entire structure of the page completely given out to you. So you can use this and just make an outline for your blog post instantly. So it's magical, right? You can also filter by headline. So you can just see H1s, H2s, H3s. And if you want to export this, you also have a neat export option. So you can click here and this entire data will be exported to your computer in a CSV format. So you can refer to it later. Fantastic stuff. Then you can also go to the link section, which will analyze all the links on this page. Now, WP Beginner is a really, really, I'd say, populated website. It has a lot of content. So you'd see there's low, so many links on the page, a total of 492 links, which 414 are internal links, 78 external links, and 370 unique links. What are the links? You can just go here and keep scrolling and figure out every single link that's going out from the page, whether it's an internal link, an external link, and you can even filter those out. And if you are 
are feeling adventurous, you want to analyze all the links on a page, just go here, click export and everything will be exported to your computer. It's fantastic. This information would take you or anybody multiple hours to compile for a single post. And now you have all this information available to you, exportable in a single click. Isn't that powerful? Make sure to like the video if you are enjoying this. And going to images, again, you have all this information once again. Total number of images, all text, no alt text with images and no titles. So you can even use this extension to figure out if your website has all the data needed. For example, you would prefer to have all the images with alt, alt tags. So if you go to your website, your pages and figure out some web, some images don't have alt tags, you can fix this. And again, you can see all the images are with the links and you can export that data. Now coming to the more exciting part, you can go to the schema tab here and figure out exactly what kind of schema is being added to the page. This is powerful stuff for any kind of product reviews, um, e-commerce websites, and even article sites. You can analyze what kind of schema is being added to the page in a nice hierarchical format. You can see all the different kinds of schema things written and even the data inside the schema is being referenced and shown here. So you can see the schema data text is here what kind of schema it is and you can get a lot of inspiration and you can model your website around I say the uh, people who are already winning the SEO game and inside the social you'll find all the open graph tags for Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of tags and this will just give you an idea on what kind of tags are added to uh, the page for in terms of when the post is shared on Facebook, Twitter and you can get inspiration from that as well and again you can export this as well. So imagine all this information about the page overview title, ratings, all the headings, all the links, all the images, entire schema data and open graph tags available for every single page. You can go, go on the internet and just click one button, all available to you, all for free, no sign up required. Isn't that powerful, powerful stuff? If you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe and like this video. But we are not done. The entire feature set of AI SEO's SEO Analyzer has been completed. But as WB Beginner, we want to help uh, small businesses win or compete against the big guys by giving you tools and information. And that's why we've created a lot more tools that you should know about. So if you go to the tools section here, you'll find a lot of different free tools that some are created by us and some are uh, our partner sites or partner, I'd say, tools that you can gain access to. So we have a business name generator now on our website. We have Headline Analyzer, we have Nameboy, which will help you find a blog name or a website name. We also have Advanced SEO Analyzer. We also have a WordPress Theme Detector. And we also have some partner, uh, say, products that you can reference to or go and click and find out or use their products to get even, I say, a better content strategy, better inspiration, I say, better tools to uh, help your website grow. So that's all for this video. That's the AIO SEO SEO analyzer for you. Complete gold mine of information, all the data available to you in a single click. I hope you are as excited for this product as I am and go check it out, go install this and use it. And if you have any feedback for this product, leave that in the comments. If you have questions, leave that in the comments. Else you can subscribe to this video, like this video. You're watching Yuvraj from WB Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.